representing media, you become, for all of us, the voice that will say to people what is actually happening. But I can't begin without thanking our congresspersons here present. I want to thank Congressman Wolf, thank you so very, very much, and uh, Congresswoman Eshoo, thank you. Thank you for your very, very insightful words at the beginning of this presentation. One of the readings for today just happens to be the reading for liturgy taken from the New Testament for every Catholic priest celebrating Mass anywhere in the world begins with the reminder that the church, that Christians early, early on suffered persecution, mm -hmm. suffered violence. This is not something new in the history of living out our faith. History makes it clear that at various times people of faith have suffered. But what we're lifting up today for you to help make visible throughout our country and our world is the intensity of this new act, continuous action of violence directed at Christian minorities. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our own United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, as well as numerous individual bishops, have been active in the effort in collaboration with religious leaders representing a range of religious faith communities to bring the issue of violence against the vulnerable people, especially our fellow Christians, to bring this to light here in the United States. And it's a pleasure for me to be here today simply to associate myself personally with this wonderful, wonderful effort here in this room and elsewhere among Christian leaders to lift up our brothers and sisters who are suffering so much and who are facing an exclusion from their own 